Okay, we're now ready to take a look at the pentatonic scales for the 251 and 6251 chord progressions in major keys. This is fairly straightforward. We've already studied all the forms of the pentatonic scale that are relevant to this progression, so it's just a matter of putting them into the correct sequence. And I'm going to start by taking a look at the 251 progression in the open position in the new key. That's the key of F major. This key has a key signature of one flat, namely the B flat, and is the relative major key of D minor. This means that our two chord is going to be G minor or G minor seventh. This is the four chord in the key of D minor, which means we use the form of the pentatonic scale containing the major sixth and the fifth. In the open position, this begins with the G on string six at fret three, the minor third, B flat at fret one, string five, the fourth of C at fret three, string five, the fifth D on the open string four, the major sixth E at fret two, string four, and then the open G string, string three. We can take this into a second octave in the open position. So we begin the open G string, and now the minor third B flat is at fret three on string three, the fourth C at fret one, string two, the fifth D at fret three, string two, the major sixth, now the open E string, string one, and the top G at fret three, string one. The five chord is C major, or C7, C dominant seven. So here we want the dominant seventh form of the pentatonic. That's the major pentatonic with a minor seventh included. That means beginning with the C at fret three, string five, and then the major second, D, on the open string four, major third, E, at fret two, string four, the fifth, G, on the open string three, the minor seventh, B flat, at fret three, string three, and the octave C, at fret one, string two. And so on to the tonic or one chord, that is F major or F major seven, where we use the pentatonic form consisting of the root, that's F at fret one, string six, major second, G at fret three, string six, the major third, that's A on the open string five, the fifth, that's C at fret three, string five, the major sixth, that's a D on the open string four, and the octave F. Extending into the upper octave, we now have the second G on the open string three, the major third of A at fret two string three, the fifth of C at fret one string two, major sixth D at fret three string two and the octave F at fret one string one. And now we can play these in sequence making the usual fingering adjustments to ease the flow from one scale to the next.
this progression to a 6-2-5-1, we would add the pentatonic form for the 6 chord, that's the D minor or D minor 7th. This is the tonic or 1 chord of the relative minor D minor, so we would use the pentatonic form containing the minor 6th and minor 7th. But now we'll take a look at that progression in the new key. We've just completed an exercise in F major, that's the key signature of one flat. If we move one more step round the cycle of fifths, we lose that flat and find ourselves returning to the key of C major or A minor. This means we've now done some work in our open position fingerings in all of the 12 key signatures. Of course, in some cases we've worked in the major key, in others in the relative minor key with the same key signature, and in most of them we've only looked at one chord progression. So as I go on through this series, I'm going to attempt to fill in at least some of the gaps in this sequence and leave you with sufficient knowledge to figure out all the missing ones for yourself. Of course, if you'd rather not go to the trouble, I suppose you could always buy the book. It's up to you. For now, I'm going to take a look at the 6251 progression in the key of A major. That's the key signature of three sharps, the F sharp, C sharp and G sharp and is the relative major key of F sharp minor. This means that the sixth chord will be F sharp minor or F sharp minor seven, and the appropriate form of the pentatonic will be the pentatonic containing the minor sixth and minor seventh. To play this in the open position, we begin with the F sharp on fret two, string six, the minor third, A on the open string five, the fourth, B, fret 2, string 5, the minor 6th, D, on the open string 4, the minor 7th, E, and fret 2, string 4, and the octave F sharp, fret 4, string 4. We begin with the F at fret 4 string 4, the minor 3rd, then fret 2 string 3, the 4th, fret 4 string 3, the minor 6th, fret 3 string 2, the minor 7th, the open string 1, and the top F sharp, fret 2 string 1. Two chord is now B minor or B minor seventh. This is the four chord in F sharp minor and uses the pentatonic form containing the fifth and major sixth. To play this in the open position, we begin with the B at fret two string five. Minor third is now the open D string. Fourth E fret two string four the fifth F sharp at fret four string four major sixth G sharp at fret one string three and the octave B at fret four string three also available on the open string two. Five chord is E major or E dominant seven. So from E on the open string six, we play the major second, F sharp at fret two, major third, G sharp at fret four, the fifth, B at fret two, string five, the minor seventh, D on the open string four, and the octave E at fret two, string four. We now have the major second at fret four, string four, major third, fret one, string three, the fifth at fret four, string three, minor seventh at 
fret 3, string 2, and the E on the open string 1. Finally, the tonic called A major or A major 7 takes the pentatonic of the form root 2nd, major 3rd, 5th, major 6th and octave in the open position. This is from the open A string, string 5, to the 2nd B, fret 2, string 5, the major 3rd, C sharp, fret 4, string 5, the 5th E at fret 2, string 4. Major 6th, F sharp at fret 4, string 4, and the octave A at fret 2, string 3. And if we want to take this into the upper octave, we can now play the 2nd of B at fret 4, string 3, the 3rd of C sharp at fret 2, string 2, the 5th E on the open E string, the major 6th, F sharp, at fret 2 on string 1, and stretch one extra fret to reach the top A at fret 5. And now we're ready to play this set of pentatonic scales in sequence, following the chord progression. stage in the course I'm sure I don't need to demonstrate all the variations to you. However, just to remind you that you should be practicing all of these progressions in the transposable fingerings, I'll just run through one possible arrangement of the 6251 in A major using the transposable fingerings of these pentatonic scales. That is beginning with the F sharp minor. <laughs> we're going to reach the concluding part of our work on pentatonic scales when we meet the minor flat 5 pentatonic which will enable us to complete the 251 and 6251 progressions in minor keys after which we're going to go on and take a look at the modes and hopefully our study of the modes will help to clarify some of the choices I've made in constructing the pentatonic scales for the relevant chords of our chord progressions so until we meet again goodbye